Today on the channel, you're in for a surprise. You're in for a shock. All hear my warning. Never turn your back on G.I. Joe Classified Series Dreadnought Ripper. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever. the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. And today we got an exciting one. We got another member of the Dreadnoughts. We got Ripper. But for all your Ripper, Dreadnoughts, and G.I. Joe Classified Series needs, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code ADOFFDJC to save 8% off your entire order. Got to get a deal out there. And the Ripper is finally here. Now we just await the Torch. And Torch is my probably my favorite of the three iconic Dreadnoughts with Torch Ripper and of course Buzzer as we do know which we already unboxed on the channel but Ripper an all-time classic out there great to have him in the G.I. Joe line wish all the Dreadnoughts had their own series kind of put them all together at once we just complete that team that would have been fun but we're slowly putting them together hopefully we get deep into the weeds we get the road pigs the Naga Hides, the Zanzibars that'd be great to get some of those in the classified series in the future and I think we will and throw in Monkey Wrench too while we're at it how about but of course, we're going to do this unboxing. We're going to do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, watch out. Don't never turn your back on the Ripper. That's what we got going on right there. We got that big weapons accessory band up top. Two little glamour shots for him. Look at all those great soda cans in the background. He got the drum set as well. Hold Slither getting in some band practice, apparently. Even got a North America tour poster back there. And coming all the way from Australia to do a North America tour, shout out to Cold Slither making it happen back in the day. Hopefully one of these days, a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I think it would be perfect. It really writes itself. Give it to us. Give us give us the Ripper. Give us the Torch. Give us Buzzer, Zartan. We want Cold Slither in action figure form. But on the side there, 102. Oh my gosh, we're building it out. We're over 100, as you can see right there. We got a little glamour shot. Nothing too fun on this side. Nothing too exciting. And then on the back, we got all the jibber-jabber down low, and we're breaking down some of the accessories and some of the tattoos. Oh, my gosh, he's got tattoos. Like a young rock and roll is what he's got right there. We're going to pull it out, see what's going on, see what's happening. See you later. Goodbye. We got the Ripper. Oh, my gosh. We're going to dive into this one. We're going to dive into there, but he's trapped in the old cardboard prison. We're going to free him. One arm, one leg, one leg. One arm, and we have freed a Dreadnought. Watch out. Be careful what you wish for. We got the Dreadnought out of the package. See you later. Goodbye. Twist ties. Going to add them to my pile here today. And there we go. Then we got the, of course, the case here. Dreadnought Ripper right there. 102. Got the Cobra logo. 102 on there. Looking good. See you later. Oh, off the ceiling. Watch out. Taking it all out here. A little Spider-Man style. Bam. See you later. Terrible. Terrible. Parchment paper, what do we got in here? What's the Ripper up to? And no good, obviously. No good. That's what he's up to. Bam, Skyhook. Oh, my gosh. See you later. Out of nowhere, a Skyhook. You never know when they might come. And we got some accessories, and we got a little bit more right here. We're going to cut this out. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. We're getting down to business. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right. We do got a magazine, and it is a... Uh, Metal Hammer Magazine. Shout out to Metal Hammer. All the UK, they got all the best heavy metal magazines over there. They got Classic Rock, Metal Hammer, Rock Candy. Got a good Metal Hammer uh, magazine right here. Uh, makes sense. He's trying to get Cold Slither on the cover, I think, is what his plan is right there. We'll see what happens there. And, of course, uh, shout out to good brother, good friend of the channel, Jeff George. I think he won a Metal Hammer Award back in the day. They don't just give those things out. I think it was Best New Group back in the day for We Are Harlot. So, shout out to old Jeff George. Good brother out there, but let's dive into the accessories here. We got a big old, is this a buck knife? What do you call this? Got a little knuckle duster on the end. I'm here for that all day long. You're stabbing somebody, you're punching them, you're doing all kinds of stuff, but I really do like this. And I do like that we get the silver blade against the gray handle. We get a little point of difference instead of it all being in silver or gray or black. Makes it feel a little bit more special. I hope they continue doing things like that. Looks really good. 
Then we get a crazy one here, and I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this in my life, but it's a little pistol, but it's got a little blade on the end. Now, we've seen that, of course, Crimson Guard with the big bayonet. We've seen that at all time where you stab somebody in the face and you unload in their face. That was a good move for me when I was playing with my Joes as a kid. That would happen all the time. Stick that right, the Crimson Guard, stick it right in the Joe's face, and then blast his head off. Oh, execution style as a little kid. That's what they're doing. But you can kind of do that with this as well. Very small blade here. I'm here for this one. Very dangerous weapons here for Ripper. He's a, he's playing a lot of hits is what we're doing right here. You know, we do get that magazine, and that does clip right into this big old rifle. This is what was under lock, lock and key, or whatever you want to call it, underneath that cardboard. And it looks like it doesn't want to stay in the best. Maybe I got it on backwards. I don't think so, though. No. Oh, yep, I did. I had it in upside down. That's why. That'll do it to you. But we do get this. Once again, very on brand. Big old uh, gray weapon here. You got a silver blade at the end. He's got blades. They're dangerous. Two for one weapons is what the Dreadnoughts are rolling with. They are not messing around. Got the big scope on the top. Very, very on brand. I am here for that. We do get glasses. Going to be interested to see how well these glasses stay on him. This is Buzzer. I wish they were sculpted in. Could say the same thing about Ripper and probably Torch in the future. I'd like to see these glasses sculpted in instead of removable. I get it. It's nice to be removable, but they're going to be on him all the time. Or give us a second head with them. Who knows? Uh, but almost like welding glasses is what it almost looks like. Here, got little visors going on. A little uh, reddish color there in the lenses and then the gray around that. So shout out to visors everywhere, uh, sunglasses. And then we got this one here, and this, I guess this is the Jaws of Life. And I don't know if you're like me, but if you watch the news or something like that and you're a kid, it's like, oh, there was a car accident in town, they had to use the Jaws of Life. And forever, until I think San Diego Comic-Con, when I saw this for the first time, I said, what the heck's the Jaws of Life? What does that even mean? I, I never understood what that meant, and I never researched it, never took the time to, never asked the question. Just kind of was always stumped. Every time I hear it, I say, well, I wonder what that is. Well, lo and behold, this is the Jaws of Life, a big old kind of pincher here. You put it in there, and you push, and it'll separate the metal, of course, pull it out, get somebody out of the wreckage, things like that. Or you can just use this to pinch a Joe's head and maybe explode if you wanted to do that as well well but a big old machine right here is the jaws in life you can see the two things they do have a big movement on them looking really good i wish there was a way to turn this to make it move but it does not seem to be the case you got a movable handle down here though so you can hold on to it you got the big handle in the back you got a little bit of exhaust going on almost looks like a chainsaw up here a little piping going on a very cool weapon on brand, of course. And when I was a kid, when I had Ripper, I never used his kind of thing. It was always too a little clanky, clumsy for me. I just always gave him a traditional weapon. I might change that up, and I might use this on him for my display here. But a very, very good one. One of those one-and-done weapons. We're always here for that at the end of the day. But now we got to get down to it. we got to get down to the old Ripper here and see what all the fuss is about. And I'm sure there's a lot of fuss with this one. Straight off the bat, how about this head sculpt here? He's got the crazy wild man beard going on. On the shaved sides and then a mohawk that would make road warrior animal blush it really would i'm here for this mohawk this looks absolutely amazing even a little bit of rat tail at the end of the mohawk just like animal used to have back in the day very very cool i love he's got his uh, eyebrows there he's got the cuts in the eyebrows this is a guy that's seen a few things he also has that undertaker-esque teardrop right underneath his eye i think that means you killed somebody in prison i think that is the case i've also heard somebody feel free to fact check this one but if you beat Mike Tyson's punch out on the original Nintendo Nintendo before you were eight years old, you also could get that. So I think that was there. I actually got it, but mine washed off. I was too too big of a chicken to get the actual tattoo, but I did beat that when I was eight years old. It was quite the feat of heroics, and I used to show the neighborhood kids. Look at this. I'm going to take them all out. I'm going to go down the order one by one. Watch out. And I think Ripper probably did that. Or he murdered somebody in prison. Who knows? Choose your own adventure. Uh, but looking good there. And then he does have an earring. It looks like a big old razor blade. Very Judas. Judas Priest style on that razor blade there. Shout out to Judas Priest as well. Got two ears, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Even a crooked mouth, but he looks very human-like. Uh, he's got kind of different eyes, and I don't know if that's supposed to be that way, or if he got stabbed in an eye. He's got a little bit of a, a darkness in one eye, but my eyes are just a hair different. you got to really stare at it to notice it. Uh, that could just be the way he was made. Who knows? Uh, we also got dog tags. I think they're either dog tags or razor blades around his neck. I don't know. Maybe he's... Uh, 
chopping up some of the fine white or he's uh cutting things or he's taking dog tags from murder joe's i'm not sure exactly what he is up to i do love his vest here the vest is really cool with the big spikes going on a very heavy metal guy these guys look like they'd be out in a metal band back then they'd be listening to judas priest in the early 80s they'd truly be unleashed in the east i bet the, the ripper of course would be and who knows we all know about the ripper gi joe's or the ripper judas priest song i'm sure the joe's all listen to that as well uh, we do got a little spike armband there, and of course we talked about tattoos earlier. Got one on the shoulder, got tattoos up and down the arm right here. Big old demolition s spikes there on the forearm, looking very cool. Love the camo on the chest as well. The camo uh, wife beater he's got going on there. Got a little wallet chain off to the side. Nice belt, of course. Blue jeans, very on brand there. Got a holster on the side. Some Terry Steinbach knee pads. Got some combat boots going on. Just looking really, really cool. This is what I'm looking for in a Dreadnought figure, no doubt about it. I did forget to mention the spot to hold his knife right there if you need it. You got a spot in his back here to plug something into as well. Articulation, you got the butterfly shoulders. Very tight, almost frozen on mine. There we go, got it, fro got it unfroze. There it is, butterfly shoulders looking good. Bicep cut, double jointed pinless elbows. Very tight once again. Hands back and forth, up and down. He's got two trigger hands on him just in case. Big ol' ab crunch if you need it. Traditional waist as well. Got those big old G.I. Joe classified splits. Look at that. He's ready for the balance beam in high school P.E. Uh, they do go back up very easily. Thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees. I'm here for that. Boot cut. Ankles back forth, side to side. Up and down. We're here for it all day long. Does he fit, of course, on a ringside collectible stand? There it is. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the Mattel stand over there at Old Ringside Collectibles. But looking good. But I'm going to put this visor on him. Visor, sunglasses, whatever we're going to call it. Stick that on. See how it fits. Really changes up his look. I will give him that. Does not quite fit around the ears as well as I would like it to. Once again, you got a little bit of that buzzer dramaticness there, but it does fit on. This does stay on better than buzzer does. Uh, your mileage may vary a little bit off, and I don't know about you guys. I think I would have been fine if they were just sculpted in here, uh, but it's not the case. So you got to make do. You got to be careful. I almost thought I lost buzzer's glasses today. Get bringing him over here. Uh, it was dangerous. It was dangerous. Luckily, I found him in the carpet. But man, uh, these sunglasses definitely fall off. They're not like Corey Hart wearing the sunglasses at night all the time on his head. These will come off on you. If you're not uh, careful there. But we do got Buzzer side by side, man. We're building out the three. Just get me Torch. Get me Torch ASAP. I need Torch in my collection. But I'm here for this. This looks really good. And of course, you got to bring out a few more Dreadnoughts. You got Zartan, the true leader of the Dreadnoughts, as we do know. And then we got Zarana as well, flanking him to the side. But man, can't wait till I have my Dread Dreadnought shelf going up. Hopefully we get Thunder and the uh, machine. That would be great. I would love to see all that kind of stuff one of these days. And I do think it will happen in the Classified series. But man... This one is pretty good. I actually put this ahead of Buzzer. I think it, it's a better all-around figure at the end of the day. Really, really do like this Ripper one. It is truly a must-have G.I. Joe, if you ask me. So, Ripper, all right in my book. All right in my book. But what say your book? Where are you putting him? Are you here for this one? You picking it up? You passing? You playing the long game? You playing the no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And, of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. We got videos every single day. And then some. We got even more content, if you can believe it, over on Patreon, where you get early access to both channels' videos. And best of all, you support the channel. You can also support the channel press and tease.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for the mighty dreadnoughts, especially Ripper, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.